And we are back here at the William J. Nix Arena here in Prairie View, Texas, the Baby Dome, as Panthers within three. With exactly four minutes left in the game. Panthers are within three, missed out on a golden opportunity before that last timeout to cut it to one or, or tie it up with a three. Now here come the Braves with the basketball. Walker. It's in the Agnew back out to Walker for three. And off the back rim, fighting for the rebound. And it's over to Gambrell. I feel like we're, we're about due for a big Gambrell bucket sometime real soon, Justin. And he's due only 13 points, 11 of those in the first half. Douglas, fadeaway jumper, no good. And there's Gambrell fighting for the offensive rebound. And there's his three. It's up, and it's good. You know, it's tough being right all the time, Justin. <laughs> Even though I make it look so easy. As we're all tied up at 63 with 320 left in the game. As it's Thomas <laughs> mid-range jumper, and that one is good. Well, I tell you, Thomas shot that with a lot of confidence right there. He did not hesitate. He felt good about that all the way through it. As that's 21 for Thomas. Gambrell with the basketball over to the right side. Gambrell. Guarded by Joshua, taking him one on one. Little spin around move, and he's going to be fouled. And that the oh, bucket. Through the contact. Bucket. P. -P I believe that's how they say it, Justin. And I tell you what I like most about that because I did say a little while ago that I liked the fact. Not that I liked it, but I thought that he was doing a nice job of keeping Gambrell in front of him. And you can see that Gambrell has taken that challenge personally. Right there, he goes, okay, fine. You know what? Let's get it on. And I like what he did right there. Finishing through the contact, finishing off the glass. He called that one off the glass, by the way, Justin. Good bucket, three-point opportunity coming. And he sure did. Misses the free throw. But all tied up at 65. As Gambrell with now 18 points. And it'll be Thomas near the right side. Two and a half minutes left in the game. Gets it over to Agnew. Guarded by Daniels, posting up. Thomas, mid-range jumper, has to change his position. And rebound by Kendall. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, good job right there. Thomas wasn't able to get the shot go. Rebound put back up. They couldn't get that to go either. And my guy, my guy, Kendall, who plays so much bigger than he is, Goes in there and gets that tough rebound. And Thomas thought he had an open mid-range jumper. Prairie View able to close and had to change his oh, position yes. in mid-air. That would have been an incredible shot had he been able to make it, but it is not to be. And now, and I'll tell you what I like about this. I don't know if you saw it, but but Jawan Daniels right now is, is so hyped. Give him the basketball. There's no telling what he'll do with it right now. Give it to him. And it's Gambrell with the basketball, nearing two minutes. Here's Gambrell to the basket. As it's knocked away, out of bounds. We'll stay with Prairie View. A lot of contact right there. Officials easily could have called a foul on that play. But I don't think they want to be the deciding factor in this contest. Tie ball game, 2-10 to go. This one is going to be a great finish. It'll be Douglas on the inbound. All tied up at 65, 210 left. In and the that, ball look game. at the conversation that's happening right now between Gambrell. <laughs> between between Gambrell and Joshua. They are chirping back and forth at one another. Yeah, Daniels loses it out of bounds on the pass. And it'll be Braves basketball with two minutes left. Thomas is asking Joshua to keep his head. Don't get too caught up in that conversation with Gambrell. Thomas going to bring it back out. Driving to the basket. Kicks it out to McCorder. His mid-range jumper is up, and it's off the mark. And rebound Daniels and the foul. Another big rebound by Daniels on the baseline, who got hit in the face by, by, uh, by Henry. Unintentional. I don't believe it was something that he did on purpose, but that doesn't change the fact that Daniels took a big shot in the face, and now Daniel is saying, hey, somebody review that and see if it's a flagrant or not. I feel like I've been flagrantly fouled, Justin. Yeah, not other than that, Braves have put the Panthers in the bonus as they'll take a one-and-one, -and, -one, and Daniel still wants the review. <laughs> He's asking, and it looks like he may, have, he may have won his argument. It looks as though we may actually have a review. 
I feel as though that foul was flagrant. Ah, let's find out. Yeah, officials coming near the scores table. Going to talk about it with the head coach of Alcorn State. And they're coming to the camera, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 